Welcome back to The Hill on News Nation. An explosive new investigation from the Associated Press. It finds that billions of dollars were stolen from federal COVID-19 relief aid money. And that was intended to stabilize the economy during the pandemic. Over $280 billion taken by fraudsters and another $123 billion wasted or misspent. Joining us now is one of the authors of that report, Richard Lardner. Richard, swindlers and cheats have ripped off taxpayers for about $400 billion here and counting. How could this have happened? Well, uh, you have to go back. Uh, it's speed of delivery. The goal when the pandemic began was to get money to people in a hurry. And in doing that, the normal uh, uh, rules for making sure the money went to the right people were lowered. They were they were dropped uh, because people were hurting. Uh, businesses were shuttering. People were unemployed. Um, and the goal was to get money out fast. Um, and crooks, scammers, swindlers took advantage of that. Uh, they jumped in and saw an easy payday, and they began to steal money. Um, and it's taking time. All, all these numbers are still evolving. Uh, IGs, yeah. you know, prosecutors are, are, are still looking through this, and it'll take years before anybody really knows exactly what the totals are. Yeah. You know, it's been more than three years now, right, until, and, and until the pandem since the pandemic began. And it's easy to look back. You're right. In hindsight, I mean, this was a national emergency. Uh, but if you throw five and a half billion at a problem uh, without a lot of oversight, with a lot, without a lot of checks and balances, this is, this is sort of bound to happen. But my question is, how much of this is going to be recovered, if any? Very difficult to recover. So uh, um, one of the quotes that stands out to me is Larry Turner, who is the Labor Department Inspector General, testified a couple of months ago before Congress. And he said, when fraud goes out the door, it's so hard to get it back. Because when people steal the money, and we've all read the stories about, you know, somebody bought a Lamborghini or an expensive yeah. vacation or clothes, the money is spent quickly. And at times it can also be taken overseas, you know, a money mule or, or somebody working for an overseas organization, a criminal organization, that money is just gone. And it's, it's so, really challenging to get it back. Yeah, I, I thought it was a Maserati, but if you're going to say Lamborghini, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what I, I saw that story down in Florida, but what are some of the most egregious cases and, and who are these people? They're not all professional criminals, right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing that, that really struck me going through uh, the sort of Justice Department sort of cases on this. Yes, there are, you know, sort of professional criminals, I suppose, or, or gangs or, or whatever. Convicted felons got money. But I was just surprised at, um, uh, you know, there was a U.S. soldier in Georgia, a roofing contractor in Montana. Um, you know, people who seemed like sort of, you know, they could be your neighbors. Um, and I don't know if they had a previous criminal history or not, but it's just surprising sort of the, the, the sort of cross-section of people who, yeah. who saw a chance for an easy payday and took it. Uh, it's just an amazing story, and I think you're right. We're going to be hearing a lot more about this as the months and even years unfold. Richard Gardner, uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.